Well, I've talked enough about the creative side of Minecraft, so I think I'll just go ahead and move on. The gameplay aspect of Minecraft is, like I said, it's a completely different animal. You have monsters on, just to start with, right? So, the way it works is you start, start off, you're dropped in the world. Now, let's assume you're not using any server commands, anything like that, right? You're just playing. Playing by default, playing normally, blah, blah, blah. And I do see the point of that. I actually played a whole game in that style with no monsters. I did one with monsters, too. I just didn't care for it, to be completely honest. But point is, you, you're dropped in the world, wherever you happen to be started. And you have to understand the crafting mechanics of the game. You know, like, what do you see around you? Do you see wood? Can you chop wood? If you can chop wood, you can make uh, tools, or you can make a, bo a crafting table. Crafting table enables you to make more things. Uh, wooden tools enable you to mine stone. Stone tools enable you to mine iron, so forth and so on. There's there's a definite tiering of the system, and the reason monsters on or off depend uh, matters to that your type of gameplay is because if monsters are on, your entire existence is rushing for that first day. There's actually whole strategies based on the first day before the first nightfall of trying to get yourself established because if you don't, what will happen is the first nightfall will happen, the, the zombies and the spiders and all that will come out, and they will kill you because you're not ready for them. And there's all sorts of rules that govern this. You know, z it, Monsters can spawn anywhere where it's particularly dark. This includes during the daytime. And so when the light level in an area gets too low, monsters have a chance of spawning there, just like when a light level gets too high, animals, which you can attack or farm or whatever, uh, spawn. This is important because most people's initial reactions who've never played this game are to dig. Dig dig in and then dig out and then make yourself a little hole, make yourself a cavern. But unless that cavern's properly lit, you could turn around one day and inside your completely sealed in cavern a zombie is suddenly staring, staring at you, munching on your brains. Which doesn't feel all that pleasant. So there's an interesting level of strategy to it, and the whole point is to survive, you know, as well as and as b good as you can. And some people, what what you do from then on, is what uh, most people find challenging about that. That's this is part of why I stopped. The only challenge I can think of is what can I build that I can make last <laughs> that isn't going to be destroyed by the creepers or whatever, and isn't going to get me killed. And after about I don't know a couple hours of doing that and and building up my little dwarven cavern, I just was like losing interest, so I, I, I'm not trying to say there's anything bad with that, it's just not my thing. Uh, I don't like that that type of thing. I, I prefer to be creative. Which brings me to the next thing. Even without doing what I was doing initially, let's say let's say all the monsters are off and you're dropped into the world, and you want to build, just like I do, right? If you want to build completely default, there, there's a degree of fun to be had by that, because anything you build, anything you want to design has is limited by your resources. You know, glass takes sand, and coal. Coal takes wood, or coal, Iron takes iron, you know, all these resources you have to go out, you have to find. You, I, I ended up building a rather nice network. I, I had a, an orchard for trees, and I had a railway leading off to a cavern that I was just it, opening up and opening up more and, by mo more and more and more. And I had a quarry where I would go and I would just mine and mine and mine, trying to look for more iron or more diamond or more redstone or whatever it is I happen to need, or gold. Gold. God, I never had enough gold. And so everything you build is limited by your ability to get the resources to make it. And it presents a completely different type of challenge. Instead of saying, I want to build this, and I'm going to put the work and effort into building it, you think, I want to build this, how can I make that happen? Maybe I can't make that happen. Maybe I have to pull it back a bit. Maybe instead of building the castle that never was, I can build a single tower. <laughs> you know, a single tower of, of iron, except I want that to be hollow. Maybe I can't pull that off. Maybe the inside will have to be stone, you know, and just making it work. The, 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 the challenges you face and the design philosophies you have to invent and, and, and go through, the, the engineering aspect of, of setting this up, it's very fascinating. It's very enjoyable. And uh, there's a lot of things you can do. I, I like to call it circuitry because that's effectively the level you're working at with redstone wires and trips and switches and all that. And you can make, like, a clock. You can make a, a music that can actually play a song with little notes that are spaced properly so that each one is triggered in sequence and so you actually have do 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 it's a little primitive and it takes forever but you can do it and people have made calculators in game you know thing things like that people have actually made things that can do functions within the game because there's so much you can do with circuitry just like real life people who actually understand the concepts of circuitry of of of, of connections between the I don't understand circuitry, by the way. <laughs> Connections between the circuits and what exactly those functions need to be and how to make these seven blocks do what you need to do, that sort of thing. So there's a lot you can do. 
And unfortunately, this review is going to be a little short based on most of my reflective reviews. But that's because there's not much to say about the game. There is no story. Zero zip zilch. It, it's up there with Mario Kart in the fact that it has absolutely no story whatsoever. And there's no quests. There's no you know levels, although there will be levels soon. They're adding that. You know, there's... It, there's not much you can really say about the game other than the creative, the creativity aspect, the limited creativity aspect, and the survival aspect. And all three of these are fun. And and there are people who have come up with amusing ways to use these in multiplayer servers. For example, uh, Bleep, I believe is the name of it. Uh, Bleep is a situation where you and another player spawn and you get into an arena. And the arena is specifically designed. And your goal is to get the other person to fall through the blocks that make up the arena first. And they plummet into the lava or whatever, and, and then you win. And there's a, there's a surprising amount of challenge to that, especially since you can't actually break a block someone is actively on unless you've broken every block around it and so forth and so on. And so it's interesting. It involves a certain amount of strategy. But all things told, Minecraft is something I have played a lot of. I've gotten a lot of uh, value out of the $20 I did pay for Minecraft, because I own Minecraft, obviously. I've been playing it for three months. Well, longer than three months. But bottom line, if I were to actually be sit down and think about how much Minecraft is worth, that's a little trickier, because once you get past the creativity aspect, it kind of falls off. I mean, yes, I built the castle that never was, and the veil, and the crater. Now what? I, I, I'm not that creative of a person, I admit it. And I, <laughs> I don't know, even though everyone disagrees with me, and I don't know what else to build. I, I've had thoughts, but they've all just kind of vanished. And I admit, for me personally, the only reason I enjoy Minecraft is if I'm on a server, if I'm a, I actually literally share what I'm building with other people and, and work with other people on projects and that sort of thing. I don't enjoy Minecraft single player. I did that. My, uh, my challenge playthrough, my creative challenge playthrough, I mentioned, I did that. And I've never played Minecraft single player again. I have absolutely no desire to. There's nothing beyond it. So for a game that's limited to multiplayer, limited to other people's schedules and desirability, and the fact that I have to literally just sit down and think, what can I build? I, I would rate it a little lower than the amount of time it's consumed might otherwise suggest. Bottom line, I would go ahead and rate Minecraft... I, I'm going to rate it as two ways, actually. One is a creativity tool, and one is a game from from the challenge mode, from the building. it. As a creativity tool, I can't give it that many props because it's just a creativity tool, right? So I'm going to go ahead and rate it at $20 for the creativity tool. As a game, well, ironically, I, I don't think it's going to get many more props there. So we're going to go ahead and push that up to $30 for that. Nothing bad about this game whatsoever. $30, if you remember, is still a good score. It's not until you get into the 10s and below that you really get into a bad score. But not something I would fork over a lot of money for, especially having played it as much as I have. Still worth it. I still recommend you pick it up if you have any interest at all.